guys, what's up? We're going to jump right into this video and I'm going to show you how to turn a crochet slipper into a sock. So this is a continuation of the last project that I did and I wanted to split it into two videos just in case people were not interested in the sock and just wanted the slipper. So you will have to watch the part one of this video prior to starting this sock. Okay, um, just stay tuned. Now guys, here's the slipper and the funny thing is as I'm looking and editing the video, for some reason when I'm recording the blue in the pattern is missing. And on the in person it's blue in it and then in the camera or when I take an actual picture it's blue. So anyway, I say all that just so you guys know that this is the same <laughs> um, slipper that you see in the picture. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a um, slip knot. We're starting as if it's a brand new project. You want to do that slip knot and you want to attach it to your actual slipper. I think that the best way to attach it will be right and directly into the seam. So that's what we're going to do. So you pretty much just insert your hook that already has a slip knot on it. Okay, and while you insert it, your yarn should be over the actual um, slipper so that way you can yarn over it and pull it through and you're just slip stitching it in there and that's it your yarn is attached and you can begin to work you're going to chain one and this is real simple guys for this first row we are going to evenly double crochet into the side of this slipper now there is no accurate or should I say right or wrong number uh, you want to just kind of go by feel because the way that the actual stitches are it's not like you're going right into the top of each stitch. There may be room for two to three double crochets per stitch. Once you have completed the actual slipper, you'll understand what I'm what I mean. And you just want to make sure that it's evenly placed. You don't want to put too many because it'll then distort your slipper sock. And you don't want to put too few because then it's going to not hold up and it won't really be a sock. So if you just watch the video, you will see what I mean. Um, I'm just double crocheting along the sides. Okay, so you want to just do that until you reach the front of your slipper. And then what we'll do is we're going to front post double crochet. Again, you have to watch the previous video to understand um, front post double crochet if you don't know what that means. Um, it is explained in the previous video. I'm going to briefly explain it here or just show you. This is where you're going to do the front posting. So you want to just make sure that it seamlessly, um, the sock goes right with the slipper so that way you don't want to switch the stitching. We had to switch it on the sides because there was no way to do the front post double crochet. Okay, so here we're just going to yarn over and you're going to insert your hook into the back of the post which and you're just pushing it forward which is why they call it front post double crochet once you insert your hook to the back you're just going to complete a regular double crochet and I'm sorry if I am well not if because I know I'm out of focus and I'm moving I try to um pay attention to my camera but sometimes I'm really into the, the project and I'm not so that is my fault but all I'm doing is just front post double crocheting. And again, as you guys can see that that's just seamlessly um, extending the slipper. I'm going to do it one more time on the side there. And then I'm just going to uh, rotate my slipper and I'm going to go ahead and do double crochets across that. Now, to make it even you want to make sure that you have counted your double crochets on the other side so that way you can put the same amount on the second side and there is the blue this is crazy this is weird all right so i'm still double crocheting and i just got to the back and when you get to the first stitch that you when you start it you're just going to slip stitch right into the top of that and now we're going to chain one and this is where the pattern is going to be repetitive and you're just going to keep going around until your desired height of the sock okay so now from now on it's all front post double crochets so you're going to yarn over 
and insert your hook right behind the post, pushing it forward and complete your double crochet. And you're going to do that all the way around. Now, if you find that you may have put too many um, double crochets in and you'll know that by the way that your yarn is pulling or if it seems like it's too tight or if it's too many front post double crochets that you're doing, you can easily decrease um, because I'm going to have to do that. Once I started the sock portion, I realized that um, it would have been too much and it would have you know, pretty much stretched out the sock if I didn't decrease. So by decreasing or how to decrease is really simple. All you're going to do is maybe um, where you see the knee, you'll skip over a stitch. I don't know if you can tell. Um, let's see. Okay, so right there, I know you definitely can tell that I just skipped over some stitches. And I'm just decreasing because, again, it was starting to buckle, meaning it was way too many double crochets there. So it's always a way around if you feel like you have a mistake or you want to tidy it up. You don't have to always um, remove your work or, you know, start over. guys I'm just continuing all the way around again I apologize for the view um, I'm at the end of that second row and I'm just slip stitching into the first stitch of that row, chaining one, and I'm going to continue all the way around. So you're going to do that until you reach the desired height that you want of your sock. There's no rows, you know, amount of rows that I can tell you to do. You may want a little short ankle sock. You may want um, a leg warmer. You may want it to go all the way up your leg. I'm not exactly sure, but this one I did pretty much like medium, and um, I did it this way because I'm, I want to actually roll it down so I can have the effect that it's still an ankle sock, but I just want to roll it down around my ankles. So now that that's done, I'm just going to finish off the one sock, and we will be done. So I just have about three stitches left. I just want to go ahead and complete those and show you how I fasten off the project. Okay, so that's the last stitch. And what I'm going to do is slip stitch into the beginning of that row. And then I'm going to um, cut the yarn and fasten off the project. So now all I do is basically just pull the yarn through and I'm going to just weave it in um, just to secure it a little bit more. And I'm not, it doesn't really matter what it looks like because it's going to be hidden. The way that I'm doing it, it's going to be hidden anyway. Again, because I'm going to roll down the sock where in that state. And uh, finally, what I like to do is just put a little knot in the project to make sure that it will not unravel or, you know, that there's no errors later. So I'm just going to put the knot in, cut it off. And we will be good to go. And that's that, guys. Um, I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, again, I explained why I did it in two parts. But I do believe that this is a very easy, easy project. Um, this is the finished look. Without the 
the blue again I'm amazed but once you um complete the project or if you're doing it feel free to um, leave comments below I try to respond to every comment and if there's something I can help you with I try my best to do so if I can help I don't know <laughs> um, thank you guys so so much for watching please remember to thumbs up this video and subscribe and share all right because sharing is caring switches y'all